Hey guys, so I decided to do a Valentine's Day get ready with me, hence why I don't have any makeup on. But the look that I'm gonna do today is inspired by uh, Melly Sanchez on YouTube or the Fashion Freak on her Instagram. So yeah, but I'm not, I don't have the palettes and stuff that she used, the BH Cosmetics, so I'm using the palettes that I have in my makeup collection and use that so it's not going to be identical it'll but it would look very similar because i'm getting inspired by her. my um maybelline baby skin uh, usually when i do my makeup i start with my brows so for my brows i'm using the elf um, brow cream liner or liner and brow cream in the color medium brown and it looks like that my eyebrows take a long time to do so I'm just going to cut this part and I'm going to just transition into the future after these brows are done so now my my what am I talking about now my eyebrows are done So now we're going to start with my eyes. I'm going to take my LA Girl Pure Beige Concealer and put that on my eyelids to prime them. And then I'm going to set them with the um, air, with the Air Spun Cody Translucent Powder. I'm gonna blend that out. I'm using two palettes today to get the makeup look and I'm going to be using the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette as well as the Jeffree Star Beauty Killer palette and so yeah so I'm going to start out with my Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette and I'm going to take the color um, the color butter as my transition shade I'm going to take, we're going to go to the Beauty Killer palette now, and the color that I'm going to take out of this is called Star Power. Now next, we're going to go back to the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette, and we're going to grab this color over here and it's called crown apple i like to and we're gonna put that in the center of our lid do is i'm going to take this darker um, burgundy red color right over here and that one is called jax jax J-A-C-Z, I'm sorry if I completely butchered that, but we're going to take that on our blending eyeshadow brush, and we're going to focus that on the outer parts of our eye, because right here on the outer parts, parts of our face, using this LA Girl Pro Coverage High Definition Long Wear Illuminating Foundation um, on my face today. And it is in the color, I'm in the color bronze. So just blend that out. Next, I'm going to take the Anastasia Beverly Hills foundation stick in the color espresso. And I'm going to use this to contour my face. A contour brush and buff that out. Next, I'm going to take the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind um, Dark Circle Eraser in the color medium. 
and I'm going to uh, conceal and highlight my face. After everything's blended out, I'm gonna go back to my um, Airspun Cody powder and I'm going to put that under my eyes. Then to um, set the contour on my face, I'm going to take the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Powder in the color Cool or Coco, in the color Coco. And it's the number C8. I'm going to take an eyeshadow brush and I'm going to take the same contour powder to contour my nose. I'm going to go back to my uh, Maybelline Adrienne Concealer and go on the bridge of my nose as well as the tip of my nose. And we're going to blend that out. The Airspun Cody powder again and we're going to do a little bit of baking underneath our contour as well as on the sides of our nose and the tip and the bridge of our nose. Open it will save me. Now that you have baked for a couple seconds, we're going to just brush it out. Nobody else yet. She doesn't need me so. And before I continue with my makeup, I usually would like to um just spritz my face with some setting spray just so everything so my face doesn't look um, powdery and cakey when I'm done. NYX matte finish setting spray, by the way. And we're gonna take the beauty blender and we're going to just dab it into the skin. We're going to take blush and we're going to go, I'm going to go into the um, Wet n Wild blush in the color Mellow Wine and the reason why I'm not showing it to you is because it looks like a hot mess because it broke and, and so it's like shattered and looks really gross but I can still use it so that's what I'm using as a blush. And I know it looks scary now, but then I'm gonna go with a blending brush and just blend the color out. And so now we're gonna go back to our eyes. And we're gonna go back with the duo pencil brush. Um, and we're gonna go back into the Beauty Killer palette by Jeffree Star, and we're gonna go back to that same pink shade called Star Power, and we're gonna put that on underneath our waterline. What is it called? Under our eyes. Yeah. <laughs> Now what we're gonna do is we're going to take, I'm gonna take a flat shade of brush and go back into the Jaclyn Hill palette. And I'm gonna take this color right over, oh, hello. This color right over here and that one is called Faint. And we're gonna put that in our inner corners. Trying to pop a little bit of that on our brow bone. I'm going to take the NYX Retractable Eyeliner, Crayon Eyeliner, to line my upper eyelash line and my waterline. Talking in my sleep at night, making myself crazy. Okay. 
then we're going to take the and you can just pop on some lashes with and then skip the step but I usually love use doing a winged liner with any look that I'm doing so I'm going to take the Maybelline line stiletto in the color black or black is black yep black is black so I did my winged liner and I popped on some lashes um, if you can see that and then now I'm going to take my I'm going to take my Monster Big Lancome Mascara to blend in my real lashes with the fake ones and also put it on my bottom lash, lashes as well. So that's done. We're going to do our highlighting of the face. The highlighter that I'm going to go in with is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in Precious Petals. Really wanna work this out, and I don't think you're gonna change it. I do, but you don't think it's best we go our separate ways. I should stay in this relationship when I'm hurting, baby. What I like to do is after I do all of my makeup. As you can see, because of all the powder that we use and everything, my eyebrows got a little bit lighter. And so I usually take a just a, any generic dark brown eyeshadow color and a eyeshadow brush and I just go on top of it like that just to darken up my eyebrows because I still like the shape is still there because because uh, I shaped it earlier but it's the brow itself just got a little lighter from the powder and I know some people would be like, oh, well, why don't you just do your eyebrows last? I don't like doing my eyebrows last, only in the sense of that brows are the one of the hardest things for me to do. So if I keep messing up, and then I'm going to have to like conceal and everything, and it's going to just mess up the base foundation. And so I don't like doing that because I'm not that great with eyebrows. Oh, we're done with the face and now we're gonna go to lips I'm gonna um, put some chapstick on because my lips were hella chapped throughout this whole video so please no comments about my chapped lips so for the lips I'm gonna go with the liquid lipstick by Huda Beauty in the color trophy wife first so you could stop right there and just have it you know like pink overload but well, personally i kind of want it to be a little bit deeper so i'm going to take the jeffree star cosmetics um uh lip ammunition in the color unicorn blood and just put it on top of it just a little bit Personally, I like the deeper lip. And to lock it all in, once again, we're gonna go back to our setting spray and just spritz our face. Okay. And then dab it with your beauty sponge. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys will thumbs this up and leave a comment down below and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos. And I'll leave down uh, Melly Sanchez's original video down in the description box below. So. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye. I want it more pigmented. Yeah. I just have a highlighting problem, okay? That's just, that's, that's the problem.